Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Thursday, November 18th, 2021, and I am coming on here with another Wings update for November. I think this is the third one. Uh, yeah, it's the third one, and um, this is really exciting, guys. We have some cool stuff. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot, and I make stitch markers, so go check out my Etsy shop it everything um social media wise will be linked down below in the description box um and uh if you could go favorite my shop and um favorite a few items that really does help me out um so i live here in the chicago area i have one daughter her nickname is carrots like the vegetable and we have a bunch of animals so we call this place the zoo and this year, along with last year, you guys helped with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. All of their links will be down below as well. And um, a couple of ways you can help them if you don't want to send in donations is you can, um, if you order from Amazon, you can go to smile.amazon.com and choose them as your charity of choice when you go and make your purchases through Amazon. And they also have a wish list. So um, if you would like to not um, crochet something, but you want to contribute, um, you can always purchase something off their wish list. Um, every little thing that you do is very much appreciated. Um, and if you can't do any of that and you can just send positive thoughts for um, those people, that is greatly appreciated too. So for anyone new to the wings uh, situation here, um, what we're doing is every month they have requested very specific handmade items for us to either crochet or knit or sew or loom knit. And um, we started, I think in March, I believe. And every month they asked for something different. So this is the the last month that they are asking us for contributions because they get into Christmas and they have to get ready for their Christmas season. Um, so this month they asked for chunky baskets and toys for boys. Um, so I do not have the comprehensive list in the description box of this video because we are pretty much done collecting for this year. Um, so if you are thinking of donating anything for November, um, it is already almost the end. Well, it's the middle of the month. So if you haven't thought about sending it in, please send it in as soon as possible. They won't take any donations from me after December 1st. So I would really appreciate it if we can get everything in on time for this month. I know that we're, we've been getting stragglers for like this whole year, but I really can't bring them anything in December and I can't really store anything in my house because they might not need it for next year. So I do appreciate that. And if you can't get something in, really don't worry about it. It. Um, okay, so for this video, I have 18 donations um, and I'm going to try and get through them in one video. I know um, a lot of people say they don't mind the longer videos, but some people do. So I'm going to try and make everyone happy. <laughs> so um, we're going to start. Um, remember, I do not have any list for next year yet and we won't have a list for next year until next year so as soon as i get the list you guys will be the first ones to know after i know i promise you so I would like to say work ahead, but I don't honestly can't tell you what they're going to ask for. And they could ask for something completely different than what they asked for this year. So, all right. Are you guys ready? By the way, if you have any questions about wings, please feel free to email me. My email is in the description box. Um, you could also leave a comment on this video. If you could like the video and share it, um, that helps. I mean, we really do need to get awareness for domestic violence. Um, and to try and stop it. I don't know how we're ever gonna do that, but um, we definitely need to help the people that are victims of domestic violence. Okay, so the first item that I have isn't actually um, a package, but I got this in the mail and um, it is a pattern. And I just wanna share with you guys the name of the pattern. Um, the note on here says, Hi Rose, I found this pattern for a crocheted checkers slash chess set. It's not identical to the one donated, but it's close. Hope you like the pattern and it's from Karina. So I don't know if this is a paid for pattern or not, but I am going to show you the, I'll show you a little bit here. So it is called the Travel Game Bag and it is by, it is designed by Kathleen Stewart. And it looks like, oh, you know what? It came from crochetworld.com. So maybe you can find it online. I would go to crochetworld.com. 
Um, I don't know what um, epi not episode, I don't know which magazine this was from besides Crochet World. Like I don't know which um, number magazine. Um, so go check that out because that looks really, really cool. And Karina, thanks so much for sending me the pattern. I would like to try it. It's really, really cool. You know what? I'll show you guys the picture of what it looks like. So cute. I love it. It's awesome. Thank you so much for sending me that. And if you guys are interested, you can go and try and find that on crochetworld.com. Okay, so the first package that I have is from Erica Crafty, and she pretty much donates every month. Hi, Erica. She does have a YouTube channel here. I will link that down below. And on her YouTube channel, she usually talks about the donations that she's sending to Wings. So um, her note says, hi, Rose, here are November donations for Wings, thank you. Okay, so she sent two of these flying discs. So remember this month was toys for boys and chunky baskets. And then she sent six of these hacky sacks. Those are awesome. So Erica, thank you so much for sending this nice little package. I really do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next package comes from Irene and I am not sure, it has a customs form on it. So I'm not sure where this is from cause it doesn't say the country, um, but it is, uh, VI, and I don't know what state that is, if that's a state or if that's a country. Anyway, Irene <laughs> sent this bag of washcloths. And by the way, you guys, washcloths were for October, so we are not collecting washcloths anymore. If you want to go check out some of the videos from October, um, I believe we collected about 5,000 washcloths. So please do not send any more washcloths at this time. They have plenty. But Irene, thank you so much for sending these. I'm going to leave these in the package so that they stay nice and protected. I do, do appreciate it. Okay, next. The next package comes from Michelle, and she is from New York, and she sent a little bag and in the bag there was a basket how pretty and it says um, there's a tag on everything it says utility basket cotton and washable so that is very very nice and then she sent two of these hacky sacks so there's two right there and um, it says on the tag indoor ball or kick bag or otherwise known as a hacky sack so there are two hacky sacks so michelle thank you so much for sending the basket and the hacky sacks i really do appreciate it you guys you don't have to send in huge boxes of of items you don't you know one item is absolutely amazing and i do appreciate you guys spending your time making these items and then spending your money to ship them to me i do appreciate it okay next all right, the next package comes from my good friend. Her name is Linda and she's from Florida. And I call her my fairy yarn sister because she used to send me yarn all the time. So thank you so much, Linda. So she sent a package and it's got a basket in here. And let's see here, there is no note about the basket, but look at how nice that is. Oh my goodness, I love that, it's awesome. And then in the basket where there was a baggie, oh my gosh, you guys, look at that smile. So it says, turtle and dino are from Stringy Ding Ding, and they escaped from the first bag, because she already sent a package for November, so I guess they didn't make it in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know Stringy Ding Ding is Olive, and she just came out with a new Amagurumi book. You guys, I'm not into Amigurumi, so I'm not getting the book, but that's so cute. And then there's a dinosaur. Oh my gosh, he's so cute too. Look at that. That's amazing. Linda, thank you so much for finding the escapees. <laughs> I do appreciate it. And I'm so glad that they're going to make it to the boys at Wings and the girls. Um, so thank you so, so much for sending those. Okay, next. So the next package comes from Jennifer and she is from Arizona and she sent this thank you card. That's so nice. By the way, if you guys are ever sending donations and this applies to next year as well, you can just write wings on the package. You don't have to put a note in the, in the bag, but I do appreciate it. Okay, she writes, Rose, thank you for taking these donations for wings. I appreciate you doing this to allow us crafters to help the people in your community. Um, love you from Jenny. And she says, P.S. Sorry, they're late. Hope that's okay. All right, so you know what? 
what? As long as you guys don't send anything past December 1st, then we should be good. Remember, I can't, I can't deliver anything after then. So she said this huge bag of washcloths. Oh my goodness gracious. And there are some scrubbies on the top there. So Jenny, thank you so much for sending them. They're awesome. Um, I am definitely going to bring these over to them and I'm pretty sure that they can use them. Okay, next. So the next package came from Canada and they, this package came from Catherine. Hi, Catherine. And she sent me a note and it says, Rose, I have made these 15 washcloths for wings for October. Very sorry, this will be late. Thank you for what you do from Catherine. So yeah, you know, post the post office is kind of crazy. So, but I really, I really appreciate it if you guys don't send any more washcloths at this time, okay? So I'm gonna leave these in the box because they're just packed so nicely in there, but there is a whole box. You can see how big the box is of washcloths and they look absolutely beautiful. So Catherine, thank you so much for actually sending these from Canada to people here in Chicago that you have, you know, you guys, all of you, you send these to people you'll never know, you'll never meet. By the way, I will never know them. I will never meet them. Charity feels good, doesn't it? Okay, so thank you so much, Catherine. I do appreciate it. All right, next. The next package comes from Lisa and she's from New Jersey and she sent a note and let's see what it says here. It says, hi Rose, my name is Lisa. I found out out about you and your channel from Crystal at Bago Day Crochet on YouTube. I have crocheted 29 cotton washcloths. I would like to send more to you on a regular basis. Would that be okay? No, it actually wouldn't. <laughs> I'll explain more. Also, if you can let me know if you would like me to send scarves and hats, I could do those as well. And then she sent her email address and thank you so much for all you do. Have a nice day from Lisa. Lisa, thank you so much for offering. Keep an eye out on the Wings update video. Videos, and I usually at the beginning of each video will tell you what is coming up for for the month that we're in and for the following month and please do not send me anything unless wings has requested it so but I'm gonna show you what Lisa sent because this is pretty cool she made all these washcloths and she individually bagged them oh my gosh so there's four these are amazing there's another four and they're all individually bagged, you guys. That is so sweet of you to do that. I really, really do appreciate that. There's four more, and they're so pretty. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for doing this, Lisa. This is amazing, that's the last of them. So I really do appreciate you sending those washcloths. They're amazing. Please do not send any more washcloths, anyone. If no one, please don't send any hats or scarves. The last thing that we are collecting is for this month and it is toys for boys and chunky baskets. Do not send anything in December and please don't send anything unless they have requested it. I do appreciate it. And I love you all for um, always donating. Um, it's just incredible how many donations we've gotten this year. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next box comes from our good friend Jax and her YouTube channel is called Creations by Jax. Hi, Jax. And she has pretty much donated every month as well. There's actually a lot of you that have donated every month and I wanna let you know how much I appreciate that. So Jax sent this little card hope today is a little slice of nice. Well, it is now because I'm opening up all these packages. All right. She says, happy November, Rose. Can't believe the year is already coming to a close. I have enclosed a little plushie by Katie Did Crafts. It's a hatching dinosaur. I didn't make the egg. <laughs> and three nesting baskets, no pattern. Love, Jax. Okay, so she put them all in purple bags, you guys, because she's a purple freak just like me. So let me open up the bags. All right, you guys, so here are the baskets. So you can see one will fit inside the other. Oh my gosh, and it's soft. Jax, what yarn did you use? That is so nice. Oh my goodness. So there's three baskets there. And then look at the little dinosaur. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at that. It's okay you didn't make the eggs. No one will know that his eggs aren't are missing. Look at the little, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, so you guys, she said this is by Katie Did Crafts and it's called the Hatching Dino. Oh my gosh, he's adorable, look at his tail. 
Jax, you did an amazing job. He is soft and some little guy is going to love, love, love him. So thank you so much, Jax, for sending this. It is awesome. Okay. Now, oh, by the way, Jax will be listed down below in the description box. So go check her out. She's amazing. She does great work with Hat Not Hate. So go check her out. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Gina. Is it Gina? Gina from New, Gina from New Jersey. I have short-term memory loss, apparently. She sent a note. Dear Rose, this is a box of washcloths and a few scrubbies. All are using peaches and cream cotton yarn and patterns from Bag o Day Crochet. I enjoyed making these for wings and hope they help the wings community. Thanks for all you do to allow us to contribute to such a good cause. Take care from Gina. Ah, uh, Gina, thank you so much for sending them. Okay, so she has them all like in individual bags and I'm gonna leave them in there so that they can stay nice and clean. So this one says nine washcloths, 100% cotton and bag o day pattern. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that, you guys. Those are gorgeous. Okay, and then she's got this, this bag says seven washcloths, 100% cotton bag o day pattern. It looks like it's the same pattern. They are so pretty. I love the way that yarn pulled too. Oh my gosh, Gina, these are amazing. Okay, and then she's got another bag, and this one says eight washcloths, also bag o day. Okay, I think they're the same pattern. That is so cool. Gina, if you can leave a comment, let us know which pattern it was or which tutorial. Okay, and then we've got a little bag of face scrubbies, and it says there's 11, and this is also a bag o day pattern. So Gina, thank you so much for all of these washcloths. That is amazing. I really do appreciate it. Just remember guys, no more washcloths, okay? All right, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Allison and she is from a town here in Illinois. And she sent this little adorable card and it says, I hope you have a day as bright as the sunshine and as beautiful as fresh flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, Rose and all the Wings Crochet family. So she's talking to you guys. You are also inspiring to me. This is my first time to donate, but have watched all the lovely gifts given before me. We have helped encourage so many families. May each of you have a lovely end of the year, however you celebrate. Love, Allison. Oh, uh, Allison, you're so sweet. And you know what? It's so true. You guys think that I'm doing a lot of stuff, but I mean, it's nothing compared to what you guys are doing and you're very much appreciated. Okay. So Allison sent a bunch of these adorable loveys. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. Look at that. Oh my God, that's like Clifford the Big Red Dog. He's so cute. So you guys, I'm gonna show you some loveys here in a second and I'm gonna tell you how I do my loveys, but it looks like this is the same way. Look at these two guys. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then there's a big monkey guy too. Oh my gosh, Allison, thank you so much for sending in these loveys. They are absolutely amazing, incredible, and I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, next. Okay, so you guys, the next two donations weren't actually sent to me. They were actually, um, someone made some purchases off my Etsy shop. And by the way, I really do appreciate that, but that's really not necessary. So I had two separate people make um, lovey purchases for my Etsy shop. So you just saw those little loveys. This is the same concept, but the stuffed animals are a little bit bigger. So I have one person that wanted to remain anonymous and they purchased these loveys off my Etsy shop. And it is the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> so the the video tutorial for these um, are by Zelda NRJ3, and that tutorial will be linked down in the description box. And these are full-size stuffed animals for those of you who might not know what a lovey is. What you do is you crochet a blanket around a hair tie right here. And you can make any pattern you want, but I just follow Z's tutorial to the letter. Like I follow it exactly like that, but you can manipulate it however you want. And then this part is elastic and it just goes over the head of whatever lovey you have. So this anonymous donor wanted to donate Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk. So thank you so much, you know who you are. And then I had another person that wanted to donate loveys too. And that is Sharon and she is from Wisconsin. So, oh my goodness. So Sharon picked out four loveys from my Etsy shop and um, she picked out this guy right here. 
adorable. She also picked out this one and then she picked out the owl. Oh my goodness. And then she picked out this one. This is one of my favorites. So Sharon, thank you so much for making the purchase in my Etsy shop and for sending these to Wings. I will definitely make sure that they get all of these lovies along with all the other animals and baskets and washcloths that you guys have donated. So thank you so much. Okay, next. Okay, you guys, the next box comes from Chantel and she's from Canada. Hello, Canada. Also, one other thing before I forget, you guys, we do thank you gifts every month for people who have donated to Wings. So, for example, in October, we had 2024 20, thank you gifts or something like that. Um, and what happens is I use a random number picker and um, people have donated yarn, patterns, books, stitch markers. Um, I have a good box and people have donated a lot of these items for me to give to you to say thank you um, and so um, I'm not including Canada in my thank you gift giveaway because Debbie the Canadian crotcheter is actually doing a separate giveaway for those people in Canada only how cool is that so Chantel you are entered for the giveaway for Canada um, now, just so you guys know, if you donate and you don't want to be a part of the giveaway, that's totally fine. You can just let me know and I won't enter you. Um, and if I call your name and you've won a prize and you don't want it, then you don't have to respond. It's okay. So just wanted to let you guys know. Okay. So this is the card from Chantel. Thank you so much. And it says, hi, Rose with a smiley face. Here's my little contribution. This is the little contribution <laughs> to add to the sea of donations you have created by organizing all this for the Wings families. In the box, you will find some gifts for boys. Some are plushies and or some are desk or pocket friends. And there is a also a small chunky cat basket. Thank you for all this hope, a yarny friend from Montreal, Canada, Chantel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's got this beautiful box. Um, I'm gonna, and she's got everything tagged, so I wanna make sure that I tell you what it is. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, this says baby raccoon. This is an amigurumi, Japanese art of making small everyday objects, characters by crochet or sewing felt. And then it says um, for five years old plus. So it's got a little tag on there that says what the age group is and that is just precious. Okay, then we have this guy here. So cute, little sleepy cat. And it says this is a desk or pocket friend and for five years old and, and older. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, here is another little pocket friend. And this one says it's called Little Ghost, desk or pocket friend, important for kids five years and older. Oh my gosh, Chantel, thank you so much for labeling these. That is like absolutely incredible. Okay, and then we have, oh my gosh, we have a baby bunny. Stop it. Shut the front door, Chantel. Baby bunny. And this is for three years and older. Oh my gosh. This is from what? Old Soul Crochet? Is that what it is? I haven't seen her on YouTube for a while. And then we have, oh, this is called a little shark. And it says it's a desk or a pocket friend for five years old or older. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are just too much. These are so cute. There's so many. Here are two little frogs and she does not have what the names of the patterns are. So just so you guys know. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we have a little seagull and it actually says little seagull on it. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I just love these Chantel. I'm so jealous too, you guys. I am not good at amigurumi at all. There's a little tiny spider. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the cat basket. There's more stuffies in here, you guys. There's the cat basket. <laughs> How cute is that? And it's fuzzy too. I just love it. Okay, here we have a little manatee. So there's a little... Yes, these are adorable. I could never do this, you guys. Okay, and then the last one here. Oh my gosh, it says it's a little ghost. 
And this is a desk friend because it looks like he will sit on his own. Wow, Chantel, thank you so much for spending so much time making these absolutely adorable, adorable amigurumi. I'm quite jealous. I could never do this. <laughs> and I so appreciate you guys sending toys for boys for November. It's amazing. Okay, next. You guys, the next box comes from Linda and she's from Indiana and she sent this card. Oh, that's so nice. It is almost Thanksgiving, isn't it? Yeesh. Okay, she writes, thank you for all the work for Wings you have done this year and thank you for letting us Yarny people participate. I am so grateful for you guys. Wishing you, Carrots, and the zoo a very happy Thanksgiving from Linda. P.S. Enjoy the scrubby, your Southern Indiana yarny friend, Linda. Ah, uh, Linda, thank you so much. Okay, so she sent this in an envelope for me. It is a little pink, uh, purple scrubby, because purple is my favorite color, and I am going to put this in my sink and use it to scrub my pots. So thank you so much for thinking of me. And then we have a bunch of these, like, um, squishy balls. Oh my gosh, that sounds funny, right? Squishy balls. <laughs> but these would be good to throw around because no one will get hurt. It's made with blanket yarn. And here are two more. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. And then we have a whole stack of these flying discs. Oh my God, that is awesome. I don't know if I told you, I did tell you guys, I was at Wings um, two weeks ago and we practiced with these in the parking lot and um, they work. It's so much fun. So thank you so much, Linda, for sending this stack of flying discs. I really do appreciate it. The balls are amazing too. So <laughs> thank you. And thank you for the scrubby. You didn't have to do that. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Holly and she's from Minnesota. And I didn't see a note in the box, but that's fine. But we have a bunch of like, um, there's one of these big balls. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them, you guys. It's a big squishy ball. And then there's a bunch of these hacky sacks. So there is like, and they're definitely hacky sacks. There's two more, so that's awesome. And then there's a bunch of these. These are so cool. Oh, is this a bowling set? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> It took me a while to figure that out. Okay, so there's a bunch of these in there and you can hear that they're shaky, right? So there's these two and then I have three more here. Oh my gosh, I finally figured that out. <laughs> there are three more here and then there's two more. So you guys, this is a bowling set. Oh my gosh, like seriously, I don't know where my mind is, but this is so cool. Obviously, I was not thinking. I was just like, oh, big balls. <laughs> so this is the bowling ball. And this is the bowling. These are the bowling pins. That is so awesome. Holly, what a fantastic idea. I am definitely going to make sure that I keep this separate so that I can explain to them it's a bowling set. But this is so cool. Thank you so much for sending this. I really do appreciate it. And the hacky sacks. They are absolutely awesome. Maybe you can leave a comment down below and let us know what you use to stuff these with because this is definitely hacky sack. All right, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Kathy and she's from Arizona. And the first thing I saw was at the top of the box and it's um, it's pretty long, so I'm probably not gonna read it all. It's two pages and what it says is, Rose, please read this request on your next update. We are encouraged to get the word out to as many as possible. Thank you from Kathy. Okay, so the note says, <clears throat> and I'll try and keep it brief because I don't wanna spend too long on this, but it's really important that you guys hear this. Dear Rose and Rose Likes Crochet friends, in the last three to four years, I've been diagnosed with kidney disease. Despite watching my intake of salt, potassium, phosphorus, and the like, they have continued to deteriorate. I am inching closer to kidney failure. At this point, my treatment options are dialysis or a transplant. So then she goes into talking about how dialysis is done. And then she also talks about finding a kidney for a transplant. She says it's not easy. There's 100,000 plus people on a waiting list for a deceased donor kidney. Time is not on her side. 
Some wait for years and others die, die waiting. The average wait time is five years or more for a kidney from a deceased donor. However, there is another option, receiving a kidney from a living donor. Okay, so um, the decision to ask another to consider donating a kidney is a difficult one, but in, improves my chances of getting a transplant. Um, a living kidney donation typically lasts longer and has better function. Um, here's just some information regarding living donations donation you may not be familiar with. You only need one kidney to live a long, healthy life. Most donor surgery is done laparoscopically, meaning through small incisions. And then there's more information here on how easy it is to be a living donor. Okay, and then she says, if it's something you're interested in, um, she, she would be more than happy to tell you about her story um, and explore the process. Maybe, maybe, um, cause she's in Arizona, maybe that's too far, but maybe you could help someone close to where you live as well. So I do have her phone number on here. If you guys are interested, please send me an email and I will give you her phone number. I'm not gonna give any of this information out on video. Um, she says, people cannot offer help if they don't know you have a need. And this is what we're doing here on this channel. This is what I'm doing for wings. Like I'm pretty sure no one that watches me would ever know about wings if I didn't come out here and tell you about it. And now you guys donate every month. So that's super important. Okay, so please, if you are interested in learning more about this, let me know. I would be more than happy to pass along Kathy's phone number. Like I said, I will not give it out on video, um, but if you can email me, maybe I can pass your information along to Kathy and you guys can connect. Okay. So she sent donations for wings too. Kathy, you're so sweet. Okay, so she's got a whole list. Dear Rose, donations for 2021 have come to a close. It has been six months for me and each one has challenged me to stretch my wings. And closed are my November donations. Okay, I think she's got small writing. I'm gonna need glasses. Chunky basket, dip edge. Oh my God, this is so big. Let me show you guys. Okay, so she's got the, the ball bands in there for what she used, Serenity Chunky and Puzzle Yarn on that. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you guys the basket and then I'll tell you about it. Wow, that's huge, oh my gosh. <clears throat> that is amazing. Okay, she said, this is called the Dip Edge Crochet Basket by Yarnspirations, crocheted with two strands of number five bulky yarn, Serenity and Puzzle. If you make this, you may want to add a third strand so it stands better. Leave leave out the holes towards the top for handles or only put two holes on each side for the handles. I could never figure out the four holes on each side. They came out a little flimsy. It's perfect. Okay, toys for boys. She's got a kick, kick and hacky sack. So that's this one. This is by B Crochet something on Ravelry. The yarn is Knit Picks Dishy Cotton Yarn. Colorway is Herb Garden and it's stuffed with lentils. So if you get hungry, you can cook this when you're done playing with it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. And then she says the gecko. Oh my God. He's so cute. You guys, I have a gecko. I have a leopard gecko. Okay. Um, this is by Ellie Skeen, S-K-E-N-E -E, on Ravelry. And the yarn is Premier Basics. Colorway is Fern. Oh my gosh. Yes, he is gorgeous. I love him. Okay. The rocket ship. Oh my gosh. You guys, I found one, a tutorial for this on YouTube and I think it's linked in the wings playlist. Check it out. Okay. This is by, uh, of something hard stay, hard to stay the, the woolly scientist on Ravelry. Yarn is Mainstay Acrylic and Red Heart. I also did find a video tutorial for this. Go check out the wings playlist. The fish, which is also adorable. <laughs> oh, he's upside down. Okay, so it's it's, it's late, guys. Um, the fish is by Nicole Mansfield at cloud9knots.com. The yarn is various something, mainstay and red heart. He is so cute. Oh my gosh, I want to make him. Okay, and then she says the football. <laughs> There you go. Is a free pattern on Stringy Ding Ding by Olive. Yarn is Red Heart Acrylic Cafe Latte and the white is Mainstays. Then she says, I am happy to have a break and I'm sure you are too. Have a blessed Hanukkah uh, season. It has been a pleasure getting to know you. Sincerely, Kathy. And then she says, the cardboard in the bottom of the box can be placed in the basket to help it stand up. Awesome. Okay, so not only that, <laughs> Kathy sent me a big bag of goodies. Oh my gosh. 
Kathy, are you serious? Okay, here is some coconut herbal tea. That's cool. I've never even seen that brand before. And then here is mint snowflake black tea. Wow. Okay, here we go. Here's the good stuff, you guys. <laughs> There's chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sending all those goodies, Kathy. I really do appreciate it. Remember, if anyone has any questions about Kathy's first letter, please send me an email. Let me know and I'll get you guys in contact with each other. Okay, we have two more boxes, guys. All right, you guys, the next box came from Margaret and she's from Minnesota and she did send a note and she explained all the stuff. She says, Dear Rose, here are my donations for the month of November. Okay, she says, black, oh my goodness, there's so many toys. This is so exciting. Black chunky basket. Oh my God, this is so chunky, you guys. You can't tell, but it's like super thick. Okay, it says no pattern. <laughs> so sorry no pattern on that oh my gosh I love it okay and then she says the flower basket is red heart it's a hoot owl container oh my god that's gorgeous what she says I just put flowers on instead of an owl face I also lined the inside with more yarn to keep it standing and check it out it does stand that is gorgeous Wow, I love that. Okay, um, tic-tac-toe is a combination of patterns. So I think that is this right here. It's all wrapped up. The pieces are in the pocket on the wrong side of the game. So you open, so, so here are the pieces and then you unroll it and then the, oh my gosh, I wanna, I wanna make one of those. Okay, reusable water balloons are a combination of patterns. And she has the instructions in here. Reusable water balloons, just soak in water and toss at your friend. Avoid the head. Completely reusable. <laughs> those are those blanket yarn um, water balloons. Those are so cool. Okay, and then baseball cuddler could not be any cuter. Seriously, I'm sorry, I'm smushing his face here. She says, this is from 3AM Grace Designs. That is so cute. Stop it. The Hulk pattern. Oh my gosh, you guys. He's so big. Okay, so the Hulk pattern is retired and is unavailable, but oh my God, he is amazing. He's amazing. That is so cool. Okay, he needs to stay with me for a little while. The tool set is Maggie's crochet pattern. Okay, I have to put the Hulk down now. Okay, so this is the tool set. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so there is, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is like a whole apron full of stuff. There's a little hat there. Oh, so it's like a tool belt. Hold on, let me, oh, it's an apron. Hold on guys, I'll figure this out eventually. Okay, so here's the apron. <laughs> it's got the hammer. I don't know if you guys can see that, so cute. And then here is, I don't know what that is. Is that like a flashlight or, oh, that's a knife. Seriously, me and tools. Here is a tie. Here is um, a wrench. Oh my gosh, a screwdriver. Oh my gosh, these are, this is just the cutest little thing ever. I have to make sure that I keep this separate. That is amazing. Okay, and then the last thing she says is she's got uh, the Bilbo catch, which is from Grandma Perkins Crochet. So that's these guys. So this is one of those games where you try and get the ball in the cup. So there are two of them here. Oh my gosh. Margaret, thank you so much. You've made such a variety of toys for these kids and they're all absolutely incredible. I'm gonna tell you my favorite one is the Hulk guy because he is amazing, but they're all beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, we got one more guys. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh, this last box is from Nicole and she's from Michigan. <laughs> and she always sends me these little purple cat cards. 
I just love them. Thank you so much, Nicole. She says, hi, Rose. I've sent you a box of monsters. Okay, it's only four monsters, but for some reason, I bought a huge box. You guys, the box was enormous. The monsters are all made from patterns by Rebecca Danger. Don't look too closely at the sewing. I am terrible at sewing, so everything is a bit uneven and wonky, and that is why I don't do amigurumi, guys. I'm hoping that gives the monsters character and charm all the best to you, Carrots, and the zoo from Nicole. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to guarantee you, like, if you give it to another crafter, they're not even going to judge you, okay? But definitely the kids aren't going to judge you at all. Okay, so this is one of the little monster guys. And these are knitted. These are gorgeous. Look at his little legs. Oh my gosh, I love him. And here is another monster. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. You guys, okay, so those are the little ones. And like you already saw, this is like the big, big monster. So he's got one green eye and one black eye, but he's smiling. Oh my gosh. He's got green legs and per he's like my favorite. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's one. It's the same concept, except he's orange and blue. Oh my gosh, Nicole, these are absolutely amazing. I absolutely love them. Thank you so much for donating them. Thank you everyone who's donated to Wings. Thank you everyone who leaves a positive comment down below. And I am pretty sure I will see you guys again in a couple of days or maybe less than that or more than that. I don't know. Um, for another Wings update. Um, please remember, no more washcloths, and if you are going to send something uh, for November donations, please, please, please have them in way before the end of November. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, that's all I have. Take care and have a great day or night or afternoon, wherever you are. Bye!